Next up at UFC Vegas 86, we have Loma Lukbunmi taking on Bruna Brazil. Lona Lukbunmi, eight and three overall, four and one in her last five. She's coming off the absolute destruction of Elise Reed. She is taking on Bruna Brazil, nine and three overall. Four and one in her last five, and she's coming off that prospect busting win over Shauna Bannon. And we love Loma Lukbunmi here. She's tiny, but she is fantastic. Great Muay Thai striker. Very you know good, be a good volume. Name I just thought of Tiny Tornado would be great. Is that what you were gonna say? <laughs> is it? So you can interrupt me to talk about how juicy a gentleman's ass is. And then when I respond quickly, it's just crickets. Both these girls are beautiful. Loma Lukbumi is a phenomenal Muay Thai striker. Again, she is tiny. She's only 5'1", but she's a very dangerous, very good striker with good volume, Solid power. She has shown that she can be more than a striker, though. She out-wrestled both Sam Hughes and Denise Gomes, and then Elise Reed with a combined six takedowns. And while her takedowns have improved greatly, if she is taken down, she does not have much to offer on her back and is mostly just in survival mode. 74% takedown defense, though, but she was just swept in that dominant win over Elise Reed. She's taking on Brunner Brazil. Solid striker, incredible power. She's very creative on her feet. She'll throw everything from Superman punches to spinning back kicks. She's going to march forward. She will throw her whole arsenal at people looking for that finish. She has takedowns as well, but they're not great. They're very BJJ-esque. She'll shoot. She'll wrap a leg around and just kind of pull you over the leg. Not just clean doubles or anything like that right up the middle. BJJ is very solid. Her striking, though, is where she shines. The problem is that her striking is very offensive focused. She's going to come forward and get in your face and strike. She doesn't do as well backing up. And if Loma wants to pressure forward, Brunna could have a little bit of trouble with that. I am nervous, though, that Loma is so small and Brunna could just big sister her. Basically, what Loopy did to Loma. Just come forward, push her around, take her down, avoid any of the real danger, and just muscle her around. Brunna is big. Brunna is strong. I like Loma to win here. Her odds continue to widen. But I, I am just, I'm just nervous she's small. I think Brun is probably going to be the most physically imposing fighter she has fought since Loopy. And Loopy ragdolled her a little bit. So Loma's going to be the pick based purely off of skill. But she does need an Adam weight fight here. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I don't think Bruno's a girl that comes in and out physicals people. She wants to stay around and dance around and, and point fight. And that's actually what worries me in this fight. Because as you mentioned, I am a big Loma fan. I've, I've been on Loma for since we've been breaking down her fights. I'm, not only for her fighting abilities, but what she's overcome mentally as well. She's been very vocal about the mental battles that she's overcome. Finding confidence in her fighting abilities. Her last fight against Elise Reed was a big overcoming obstacles for her in her life. And she's really kind of shining uh, after that. And she's going to be the better fighter here. I mean, she is the, the better striker. I think she's a better grapple. I think she's better everything in this fight. But... Bruna is a girl that I picked against as my lock of the week. I had Denise Gomes because I watched Brazil come in into her contender series fight or whatever it was. I'm like, this girl sucks. I mean, her striking is <laughs> – her, her chin is up in the air. She's very loosey-goosey with her striking, and that's exactly what happened. She ended up getting put out in that fight. But then she came in against Shauna, and I know Shauna's not like the best – striker but she's kind of an awkward striker with the karate style and Bruno looked locked in I mean her striking defense looked much improved her striking looked much faster much cleaner and if she brings that same style just kind of dances around the outside because Loma is not a, a super aggressive girl right it's that Muay Thai kind of plot forward but it's not chasing people down so she's just plotting forward plotting forward plotting forward and she'll throw to the kicks and she's got great kicks and stuff but if Bruna is dancing around the way that she did against Shauna and just point and point, and her footwork was on point, and that karate style, you know, was kind of the blitz in, and she was circling out. If she does that for three rounds, this could turn into a fucking big sweat for Loma, because Loma is not, like, a super powerful girl. She doesn't have a ton of finishes. She has that ability, but I do worry about Loma in this fight. I'm a big fan of her. I did better, because she is the better fighter here, but there is something about this that I, I do worry uh, about her in this fight, so she is my pick. I love Loma. Uh, but I do love the uh, the country of Brazil. And when you are 
when your name is Brazil from the country of Brazil, that is a uh, little bit of a a double whammy, and that uh, excites me. It really, it really sends your Drake into helicopters because you don't know what to do with that information. I get it, man. I get it. Uh, I don't have anything on either one of these fighters. I want to bet on Loma. I was thinking like a little parlay. All right, let me slap her together with somebody else I'm pretty confident in, but it does feel weird. And while that only loss, that one loss in the four and one there is Loopy, who can be hit or miss, but who? For... Here we go. Go ahead. Tell, tell him. Well, Loopy did follow me on, on the gram today, so. Yeah, out of nowhere, too. Why? I think everyone knows why. Everyone, everyone saw that Drake. Everyone saw that Drake video, and they're they're out there searching. Uh, all right, they're like, I want that, but like a, a redder with a couple of freckles on it, and then boom, freckled salamander done. You could make your jokes. Go. I did. That is exactly what I did. Uh, we're both on the same side here. You're going to spend that $9,400 in DraftKings. That sort of requires a finish. Which I don't think she's going to get. Like, she dismantled Elise Reed, but Brun is not Elise Reed. And who said that she was going to do that? Because I said that she was going to do did that say. in the second round, too. I called the you second did round say. finish. So, uh, I don't see a finish here. And it'd be, I think it's going to be a sweat. Um. So... What was that about the $9,400? Someone said, bruh, is Drake jerking off or something? I, I was it? just going to pin that. <laughs> I go it. look at it. You can just look at it on Twitter. I think everyone <laughs> needs to see it. And everything about his persona makes a lot more sense because that dude is like the most confident dude in the world. That dude's a billionaire, famous, <laughs> good looking, charismatic, with just a fucking hog. <laughs> it is. It is crazy. I mean... He's God's What's favorite. he missing? I mean, he yeah, God's God giveth favorite. and God taketh. Where's the taketh? It's all give. Where's the take? I don't Maybe know. his weird feet. That'd be nice. Weird. Anyway, I am not. I, I'm not going to spend the ninety four hundred dollars in DraftKings. Uh, I don't think Loma's going to win by finish here, and I don't think she's going to get nearly enough takedowns to be worth that money if it goes to a decision. But I do think Loma will win. These odds are widening. I think they're a little too rich for my blood at this point. But we want picks.com. Click become a member. You can unlock all the bets on the other fights, the fights that make sense, not the tough lady fights. $10 a month. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top, and you're going to unlock four events worth of picks, bets, round line leans, tools, and more for only $2.50 a week. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.